Hello, my name is Thanawong Maison, graduate student in Dr. Hans Stein Lab. Today, I would like to present in the topic of energy values in canola meal, zero zero rapeseed meal, and zero zero rapeseed expeller fed to growing pigs. Here's the outline. Today, I will have brief introduction talking about background of canola and rapeseed, and I will also talk about factors that could affect the quality and nutritional values of canola and rapeseed meal. Then I will have materials and methods, results, and conclusion for this experiment. Canola and rapeseed are an oil seed in genus Brassica. Actually, rapeseed has been developed by plant breeder to obtain low erucic acid in oil and low glucosinolates in meal. Then they changed the name from rapeseed to canola, especially in North America, and they may call double O or double zero rapeseed in Europe. As you can see here in this picture, on top left, these pictures show how canola and rapeseed growing field look like. And on the top right, you can see canola and rapeseed are in round shape with different color of seed coat. It could be black, brown, red, or yellow. After oil extraction, they will have canola and rapeseed meal that we can use in animal diets because they contain high concentration of crude protein and amino acid, and low level of glucosinolates. For variety and location of canola and rapeseed, there are two different varieties of canola and rapeseed that they grow in different regions around the world. Brassica napas that they can grow in Australia, Canada, China, Europe, and US. Brassica campetris or rapa that they can grow in Northern Europe. Northwestern China and India. For the composition of canola and rapeseed, canola and rapeseed themselves contain fat range from 42 to 43 percent, and crude protein range from 20 to 30 percent, depend on varieties of canola and rapeseed and growing condition that they grow in different regions around the world, as I mentioned before. And these differences could affect nutritional values of seed and consequently affect the nutritional values in meals. For oil extraction procedures, there are two different types of oil extraction procedures that they use to remove the oil from canola and rapeseed. They have expeller extraction and solvent extractions. For expeller extraction, they will use mechanical press to remove the oil from canola and rapeseed. The temperature for conventional expeller extraction could range from 95 to 130 degrees Celsius, depending on speed of screw that they use in the process. They also have another type of expeller extraction that they call co-press. They control the temperature in this type of process not greater than 60 degrees Celsius because virgin oil from this type of process still in demand of customers who prefer vegetable oil from the process without high temperature and chemical reagent. For solvent extraction, they will use both mechanical press and solvent to remove the oil from canola and rapeseed. They will cook canola and rapeseed in cooking step before moving them to mechanical press to remove 60 to 70 percent of oil. Then the rest of the oil will be removed again in solvent extraction step that normally they use hexane. After that, the meal will be removed to the solventizer and toaster to recycle hexane back to use in solvent extraction step again. For chemical composition of canola and rapeseed, the meal from expeller procedure contains crude protein range from 33 to 35% and contain fat range from 9 to 13%. And the meal from solvent extractions contain crude protein range from 35 to 38% and contain fat range from 2 to 5%. By different oil extraction procedures, the chemical composition in canola and rapeseed could be different because the differences in oil extraction efficiency and heat exposures between expeller procedure and solvent extraction procedure could affect energy and amino acid concentration in the meal and consequently affect nutritional values of the meal. So now we know that two factors that could affect Nutritional values of canola and rapeseed meal are locations that they grow canola and rapeseed and processing procedures that they use to remove oil from canola and rapeseed. 
Therefore, the objectives of this experiment were determine and comparing the digestibility of energy in canola meal, zero zero rep seed meal, and zero zero rep seed expeller from different locations and from different processing procedures. For materials and methods, we had 22 samples of canola and rapeseed meal. Six samples were canola meal, 11 samples were 00 rapeseed meal, and five samples were 00 rapeseed expellers. For chemical composition of canola and rapeseed meal that we used in this experiment, as you can see here in this table, dry matter range from 88.9 in 00 rapeseed meal to 91.8 in 00 rapeseed expeller. Fruit protein range from 35.6 in 00 rapeseed expeller to 38.1 in canola meal. Percent fat by acid hydrolyzed ether extract range from 3.8% in canola meal to 11.5% in 00 rapeseed expeller. Gross energy range from 4,200 in 00 rapeseed meal to 4,700 in 00 rapeseed expeller. And glucosinolate range from 3.48 in canola meal to 13.32 in 00 rapeseed expellers. We wanted to compare energy value in canola meal and 00 rapeseed meal from different locations. So we compare canola meal from North America with 00 rapeseed meal from Europe. We also wanted to compare energy values in rapeseed product from different oil extraction procedures. So we compare 00 rapeseed meal from solvent extractions with 00 rapeseed expeller from expeller extractions. We used 23 peaks at the initial body weight of 27.7 kg. Peaks were allotted in metabolic cages that allow us to collect fecal and urine sample to analyze gross energy and calculate digestibility of energy. We formulated 23 diets. One diet was corn-based basal diet. Six diets were formulated from each of six sources of canola meal and corn. Eleven diets were formulated from each of eleven sources of zero zero rapeseed meal and corn. And five diets were formulated from each of five sources of zero zero rapeseed expeller and corn. Pigs were fed at three times the estimated energy requirement for maintenance. They were allotted in 23 by 8 Uden square design with 23 diets and 8 periods. Each period had 12 days, 7 days for adaptation period to the diet, and 5 days for fecal and urine collections. Data was analyzed using PROC mixed offset. Diet was included in the model as fixed effect. Peak and period were included in the model as random effect, and we used contrast option to see the difference of means at the alpha level of 0.05. Now let's move to the result. Let's talk about ATTD of gross energy in canola and rapeseed meal from different locations first. As you can see here in this bar graph, here we have orange bar represent canola meal from North America and blue bar represent 00 rapeseed meal from Europe. ATTD of gross energy in canola meal was 80.78. For 00 rapeseed meal, ATTD of gross energy was 81.29 and ATTD of gross energy for canola meal and 00 rapeseed meal from different locations were not different. Digestible energy and metabolizable energy in canola meal and rapeseed meal from different locations. Here again we have orange bar represent canola meal from North America and blue bar represent 00 rapeseed meal from Europe. Digestible energy in canola meal and 00 rapeseed meal were 3152 and 3160. Metabolizable energy in canola meal and 00 rapeseed meal were 2,993 and 2,991. And the concentration of digestible energy and metabolizable energy for canola meal 
and zero zero rapid meal from different locations were not different. Now let's talk about ATTD of gross energy in rapeseed product from different oil extraction procedures. Here we have orange bar represent zero zero rapeseed meal from solvent extractions, and blue bar represent zero zero rapeseed expeller from expeller extractions. ATTD of gross energy in zero zero rapeseed meal was eighty one point twenty nine. For zero zero rapeseed expeller, ATTD of gross energy was 83.23 and ATTD of gross energy in 00 rapeseed expeller from expeller procedures was greater than 00 rapeseed meal from solvent extractions. Digestible energy and metabolizable energy in rapeseed products from different or extraction procedures. Here again we have orange bar represent 00 rapeseed meal from solvent extraction procedures and blue bar represent Zero zero rapid expeller from expeller procedures. Digestible energy in zero zero rapid meal and zero zero rapid expeller were three thousand one hundred sixty and three thousand four hundred. Metabolizable energy in zero zero rapid meal and zero zero rapid expeller were two thousand nine hundred ninety one and three thousand two hundred twenty two. And the concentration of digestible energy and metabolizable energy in Zero zero rapid expeller from expeller procedure were greater than that in zero zero rapid meal from solvent extraction procedures. With that result, we observed that ATTD of gross energy, digestible energy, and metabolizable energy are not different between canola meal and zero zero rapid meal from different locations. This may be because both canola meal and zero zero rapid meal that we use in this experiment came from same variety, which is brassica napas. They also came from same processing procedures, which is solvent extractions. And both canola meal and zero zero rapid meal that we use in this experiment contain the same concentration of gross energy and fat. We also observe that ATTD of gross energy. Digestible energy and metabolizable energy are different between rapeseed product from different processing procedures. This may be the result of efficiency of oil removal from seed that's different between solvent extraction procedures and expeller procedures, which results the difference in the concentration of gross energy and fat in meals. In conclusion. For energy values between the meal from different locations, we conclude that canola meal and zero zero rapid meal are not different. For energy values between the meal from different processing procedures, we conclude that zero zero rapid expellers is greater than in zero zero rapid meal. With that, we would like to acknowledge ADM, AgriFirm, Bunky, Cargill, and CP Group. For funding this research. Thank you.